All right, we good? So now let's talk about stretching the skin, and this one is one of the most important. If you want your stroke look thin, crisp, and nice, you have to do the stretching right. Two way stretching is not enough. So suppose that if you have a piece of skin, yeah. Let's say if you have a piece of skin like this, right? And then we want to do the cutting like this. You see, this is the direction that we cut. You see? That's the direction of we cut, right? So how do we stable the skin? Number one, because you're cutting this direction, right? You see this direction right here? It's just like a vector, yeah? You learn vector in uh, grade school, yeah? Because the force is going this way, right? So as we go this way here, that means we are moving the skin, we're pulling the skin in this direction. So you need to stabilize right here in this direction. So that means somehow one finger has to be right here. Okay? One finger has to hold right here so that you know you need to anchor the skin right here so that you can pull it over there. Okay? But again, this is not a straight cut. You see over here, it's moving to this direction. Right? So there's some resistance again here. Go this way, right? There's some resistance, right? You're moving this way, there's some resistance there. So the skin in this direction will move. The skin in this direction will move this way, and the skin in this direction will move that way. That means another finger have to be applied over here. And why do we need to use this one? We need to pull this direction here so that we have more, we have some working area here. This is our working, how oh, I say, working finger or hand. Right? So we pull this way, you see? Now one more finger right here. Right? So this is about physics, yeah? About physics. We know that the skin will be pulled this way and some skin resistance going that way. And we need some working area down here. So that's why we want one. So that we shift this skin up here. So that we have some area here to lean this hand on to cut. Okay, so one finger, two, three, to stabilize the skin. Stabilize the skin this way, that way, that way, and also here. Stress one, two, three, and then this one, you do it. Okay? And as you move along the brows, you need to move your three fingers on the left hand. Let's say you're right-handed, right? You need to move this one along. Always stabilize. I saw a lot of problems. Let's say I'm cutting right here. I'm cutting this direction here. And if you do like two, two fingers like this, you do like this, right? This one is moving. And this one here will be moving too. So you have to do one, two, three, boom, to get some working area here. Shut, shut, two sides. So now when you cut here, it will be good. And then this one here is even better. You turn it down here, lean on here, and then you cut. Okay, it's all about physics. Stabilize the skin four directions. You have to do four way stretching. Okay? Yeah? One finger here, one there, pull it up here, that's one, two, three. And one finger here, now here, is, let's say you the pinky or that one, lean on here and then cut. Okay? Okay? So when you stretch the skin really well, and this is about a thing, you know, people talking about like numb, if you numb the skin, it becomes late, you know, like rubber, it's hard to cut. That is true, very true. But this will fix it. You see, today when I fix and work on that model, right, it's at the, the last four or five pass, right? When we do that one, we want to add some more stuff. It's really hard. Kim said it's like, it's like, very much like rubber. But in the end, after the first pass, you don't even care about the shape, right? The shape is already there. Just put your fingers comfy, you know, comfy wherever you want and stretch it forward and then very tight, very tight, and then you can cut. Mm -hmm. You should check the skin.
my skin on the drum. It should be like that. Always in a yucca. If the skin is really stretched out, you don't even need a lot of effort. You just let the blade touch the skin, gently go, it cut beautiful. It cut very nicely. So you have to learn how to stretch. Okay? And when, normally this is the long finger, yeah? I use my long finger in this area here. You press it down to the skull, yeah? To the bone, very hard, on the glands forehead. And use your arm here, pull on the way back. She won't feel much pain, just the pressure. And then use this area here, yeah? Don't use your finger to nail down to the skin, yeah? That it will hurt. Just use, you know, the, your thumb right here, right? Pull it, one, two, three, and then pull the plant and then cut, okay? You have to stretch it really tight. The effect of stretching really well, cut both good things. Yeah? A clean cut, very clean, crisp, sharp. Very clean. And on the tails, on the tail section, no wiggling. You see the tail of the brows? If you have to stabilize it so that you don't have wiggling. If you don't stabilize it well, you do that very thin section of the tail, it might wiggling. The hair stroke might be wiggling and that's really bad. Okay? And if you do, if you just strap really, really well like this, you need very little pressure. Very little pressure needed. Okay? Very little pressure. Okay? Anything else? I think that's very simple. Stretch your skin. Stabilize it. Okay? I know it's hard, but you learn. And again, try to avoid try to avoid uh, touching the shape, yeah? Avoid touching the shape, okay? You need to avoid touching the shape. You need to watch your fingers, yeah? Don't erase the shape, okay? Okay? You walk on the right side, do not lean on the left side and vice versa. You need to watch where your fingers are before you put it down stretch. Okay, because when we so focus on the stroke and then we just forget and then we, 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 we erase the lines. Okay, anything else? Any question? We good? Okay, let's stop the, uh, the recording. We good? Yeah, thank you.